Hello and welcome to Big Orbit's Cardlight Vanguard weekly update. My name is James and I'll be going through the cards shown throughout the past 7 days. First of all, a group of gear colossi called the Idea Drones are now in Gear Chronicle, with a playstyle that works to help the GR of the set. I shall quickly talk about the GR, as then it will be easier to explain the importance of the Idea Drones. So Deus Ex Machina Demiurge is a stride with an interesting but hard to pull off skill. It's an act on Vanguard Circle to choose 12 face-up Zodiac Time Beasts with different card names in your bind zone and put them into the drop zone. Choose 12 cards from your drop zone and put them on the top of your deck in any order. Until the end of turn, this unit gets. When this unit attacks, until the end of that battle, your opponent cannot call Grade 1 or Greater from hands to Guardian Circle. So it's going to be difficult to get 12 different Zodiac Time Beasts in your bind zone, but if you do, you can stack the top of your deck with triggers after triggers. We also know that the new Chrono Jet, Chrono Fang and Chrono Dran in the ninth trial deck are Zodiac Time Beasts, so that will hopefully make things easier. It's also useful to remember that you can put any 12 cards on the top of your deck, not just the 12 Zodiac Time Beasts you took from the Blind Zone. So you could set the top of your deck with 12 triggers and have them in any order that you want. To show what kind of cards work with this, we have the Gear Class I was talking about earlier. A new Grade 3 Gear Colossus is Regassia Idea Drone. On Vanguard Circle and Rearguard Circle, when this unit's attack hits a Vanguard, if you have a Gear Colossus on your Vanguard Circle, draw a card, choose a card from your hand and bind it face up. It also includes the race of the heart card, so if you have a stride, so that's a Gear Dragon, but your heart is a Gear Colossus, then it still works. And as an auto generation break one and counter blast one, when this card is put into your bind zone from the drop zone, you may pay the cost. If you do, if you do, switch your deck for up to one card, bind it face up, and shuffle your deck. So you can buy this card from the drop zone by using Chrono Fang Tiger, which gives you a lot more freedom on what cards you can put in the bind zone. And if you don't have a great three, three gear Colossus Vanguard, you can stride Fiery March Colossus or Thunderbolt Shockwave Colossus to get the on-hit skill. We also get a new quintet wall, Shanamai Idea Drone. As an auto, it comes blast one. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle from hand, if you have a gear Colossus Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, Call the top 5 cards from the top of your deck to Guardian Circle. Then choose 2 Guardians called with this effect and you may bind them face up. If you bind the cards, counter charge 1 and this unit gets plus 5000 shield to the end of turn. You want to probably bind Grade 3s as they have no shield, but at the same time that will not allow you for as much striding unless you have something like Chrono Fang Tiger as your Vanguard. I feel like this card can find a use, but maybe it will be best to only have 1 or 2 in your deck and save the other two slots for the standard Perfect Guard or, or Steam Scaler ML Anna, who is another quintet wall that allows you to bind cards. Anarchia Idea Drone is a critical trigger with Act Rearguard Circle. Choose a gear classes from your drop zone and soul and return them to your deck and return this unit to your deck. Then shuffle your deck, look at the three cards from the top of your deck and put a card from among them into your hand. Put a card into your soul and bind a card face up. This is a very strong critical trigger and definitely a staple in Idea Drone decks. We do have one other Gear Colossus this week, though he is not an Idea Drone. Unhindered Colossus is a Grade 3 with Time Leap, Auto, Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, at the end of the battle that your Vanguard attack. If your Drive Check did not reveal a trigger unit during this turn, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your other Rearguards and you may Time Leap it. The great thing about this is it works on the rear guard circle, but he does only have 10,000 power. I think right now, Chrono Fang Tiger is a better choice for a backup grade 3 for Gear Colossi. A new Legion leader for Gear Chronicle has been revealed, Sorrow Divider Dragon. He legions with the grade 2 from GB201, Steam Knight Puza Ely, who is getting a reprint in this set with new art. For those who don't remember, Puza Ely has a auto on the rear guard circle to Soul Blast 2 when this unit attacks and until the end of the battle your opponent cannot call grade zeros to Guardian Circle. Now Sorrow Divider Dragon has two skills. The first is an auto on Vanguard Circle and Counter Blast 1 and choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. When this unit legions, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top five cards of your deck, search for up to one card from among them, reveal it to your opponent and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with the same grade as the card that you put into your hand with this effect, and your opponent puts that unit to the bottom of his or her deck. And the second skill is an auto, when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone. If those cards are the same grade, choose up to one card from among them and put it into your hand. These skills are very luck based, perfect for Chrono Shindo but not so great for everyone else. This card isn't too great, but it can be fun if you can actually pull the skills off. 
Now we have a few cards for the ninth trial deck. We have a few new versions of characters, and the first one I'll talk about is Chrono Fang Tiger G. With an auto on Vanguard Circle and Rearguard Circle, a Generation Break 1, Soul Blasts 1, choose one of your rearguards and bind it face up. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked a Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's rearguards in the same column as this unit, and your opponent puts that unit to the bottom of his or her deck. It's really nice that you don't have to hit with this card, and it doesn't use up any counter blasts. Unfortunately, you can't choose the Chrono Fang using this effect to bind, as it would be nice to bind a Zodiac Time Beast such as himself. Even if you're not using the card for Deus Ex Machina Demiurge, you can always just have him in your deck. So you have a full Chrono Fang Grade 3 lineup, as there probably will be a few more cards in the set that rely on the Chrono Fang Vanguard. You can also use this to bind Steam Battler Urwater and effectively make the cost of the skill cheaper. Chrono Jet Dragon G is also a Zodiac Time Beast and has two skills. The first one is Continuous Vanguard Circle. During your turn, for every two face-up cards in your G-Zone, this unit gets plus 5,000 power, and all of your Zodiac Time Beast rearguards get plus 1,000 power. And the second is Time Leap Auto and Vanguard. During your turn, when you stride a Gear Dragon or Zodiac Time Beast, choose up to one card from your hand, call it to rearguard, and choose up to one of your rearguards and Time Leap it. The first skill could end up being very useful for when you stride Chrono Dragon next stage and after attacking with him, goes back into your G-Zone and your Vanguard stands. Once that happens, not only will your Chrono Jet Dragon G get a huge buff, but all your rearguards will also get a nice buff too, as well as any triggers you might have gotten through next stage. The forerunner of the trial deck is Chrono Dran G, another Zodiac Time Beast, and with Auto and Rearguard Circle, Generation Break 1, you can put this unit into your soul. When one of your other units is placed on Rearguard Circle, other than from hand, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to one Zodiac Time Beast with the same grade as that unit, call it to Rearguard Circle, and shuffle your deck. Until we get a better idea of what kind of effects the Zodiac Time Beast will have, the original Chrono Dran will still be a really good choice, especially with the new Chrono Jet Dragon G. The Chrono Dragon G can help you a lot getting the right Zodiac Time Beast for the Binding. The stride for the trial deck has also been revealed. Mutopulsa Pan Long has the skill, auto on Vanguard Circle, counter blast for one. At the end of the battle that this unit attacked Vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose a face up grade one or greater card from your bind zone, put it into your hand, or call it to rear guard circle. This will allow you to have extra attacks, or you could have time leaped a perfect guard to get a good grade 2 out, and this would be a great way to put the perfect guard back into your hand. Lastly for the trial deck cards shown this week, we have Steam Maiden Emi. She has auto on vanguard circle and rear guard circle with generation break 1. When this unit attacks a vanguard, this unit gets plus 4000 power until the end of the battle. And with an auto, when this unit is placed on rear guard circle, you may have this unit get grade minus 2 until the end of turn. The main purpose would be to time leap this unit into a good grade 2 the, the turn she comes out. However, she is only a backup boss in a trial deck and does only have 10,000 power, so she probably won't see much play in the competitive scene. It's a little unclear right now on how the deck is going to be built for Gear Chronicle. As we have seen in the anime, there are a lot more idea drones to come out. And as they work so well with Zodiac Time Beast, I'm wondering on what the split will be between the two. It'll be nice when this set first comes out to see all different people's ideas on how their deck is going to be built. And if you have any ideas already, feel free to leave them in the comments because I'd be very interested to see those. But you may want to wait until more cards have been revealed first. Finally for this week we have a Shadow Paladin promo, which I guess was made to show off the new mages of Shadow Paladin that will be coming out for GTDO10 and GBTO9. Taboo Evil Eye Blanc unfortunately does not have the ritual keyword that we don't know the details of yet, but her skill is an auto on rearguard circle, generation break one, counter blast one. When this unit attacks, hits a vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card. So her skill is nice, but nothing special. It is only a promo though, so it may have a, it may come as a box topper of GBT09. And it still has really great artwork, so people might want to collect it for that. And that is everything for this week. Feel free to leave a comment on what you think about the new cards, and if you have any questions about the ruling, I'll try and answer them as best as I can. And also tell me what you think about the new idea drones and Zodiac Time Beasts, and, and how easy it will be in the end to actually pull off Deus Ex Machina Demiurge. Because at the moment, it seems pretty hard, but, but it is quite possible. So be sure to watch next week's episode to stay up to date with all Vanguard news, and I'll see you next time. Bye!